All right, welcome to player availability this afternoon. Uh, we have senior center Brandon Kennedy. Raise your hand, hit the raise your hand function and we'll call on you. We'll start with Rick Russo and then we'll go to David Oven. Hey, Brandon, good afternoon. Um, let's get right to Alabama. Talk about that defense, which is, uh, you know, they've given up some points, they've given up some yards, but they've been able to adjust, especially in the second half last week against Georgia. What do you see in, uh, in this Bama defense this week? Yeah, the one thing I see is uh, that they're technically sound. They have good fundamentals. And one thing about it up front, they're physical. I think uh, their linebacker, I think Dylan Moses, he's a great player, athletics, uh, can play from sideline to sideline. And also Christian Harris, they're kind of like almost twins in the way they play. I think they're pretty good. And also the secondary on the back end, I think they're good as well. David. Uh, Brand, how, how would you describe the offensive line's performance the last couple of weeks? Yeah, well, I'd have to say it's been a roller coaster. A roller coaster. It's kind of been up and down. But the thing we're trying to focus on this week is we're trying to figure out, you know, what, what do we need to do to be successful and kind of help this team and just kind of focus on our job and what we can do. All right, Jimmy Himes and Teresa Walker. Brandon, what's the challenge of, of bouncing back when you don't have a very good game against Kentucky? I think the biggest challenge of bouncing back is kind of, you know, everybody being around each other and rallying around each other and coming together because, you know, it's all about us in the end. That's all we have. And we got to stick together and come back so we can be able to be successful uh, come next year. And where along the offensive line do you think you guys need to improve? To, uh, to be honest, I think we all can improve. You know, we all done some things well in the game and we did, uh, didn't do some things well. And, you know, that's kind of the difference in between winning and losing. You know, we all need to be on the same page and, and kind of play uh, better in order to help this team. Brandon, uh, with that, playing Alabama, an opponent that gets your attention, that requires everyone to, to be working to make those corrections or risk uh, another issue like uh, what you had on Sunday or Saturday, sorry. To avoid yeah. to avoid an, uh, to avoid an ugly situation on the field. Yeah, I, th I think the main thing we did when we came in Sunday is we kind of – we had to take the game for what it is. That's the number one thing we did, okay? We had to see what mistakes we made and see the things we could have done better and also evaluate the things that we done well because, you know, in the game there were some things that we did well and then the things that we didn't do well, they were critical errors. So that's kind of what caused us to uh, lose the game. David Paschal, then Blake Topmeyer. Hey, Brandon, is, is playing Alabama still weird for you? And, and what was the weirdest part about playing Alabama for the first time? Uh, to, to be honest, um, it, it's, not, it's not as weird. Uh, you know, uh, we played them last year. And, you know, I'm so far removed now in the, uh, the three years that I've been here that, you know, it's just it's almost normal when I go to prepare to play them. And then what's it like? I mean, a lot of people think based on last week, Alabama is supposed to annihilate you guys. They're like three touchdown favorites. Is that a different mindset for you guys this week about, you know, knowing that you're going up against a team that's that's heavily favored? Uh, no, not really. You know, any team can uh, be beat each weekend in the SEC, as you can see kind of around what happened in the different games. But, you know, when we come in each week, we just focus on every opponent just like we do everybody else. We don't kind of put too much on one or too much on the other. So that's kind of thing we're focusing on this week. Thank you. Brandon, what did you uh, learn from Nick Saban? Um, well, I think the one thing I learned about Nick Saban is, you know, fundamentals and doing things the right way. I think that's one of the, kind of one of the things he preached there. And, you know, that's also the kind of thing that we have incorporated into here. I think Coach Pruitt has done a good job in doing that as well. So that's the kind of thing I learned from Nick Saban. All right, Vince Ferrar, then Gustavo. Brendan, how much of some of the breakdowns on the offensive line is communication and if it is a decent part of what's happened, why do you think that is considering how experienced that group is up front? Yeah, so with us, you know, yeah, at times communication was, uh, was kind of a, a, a deal. And also sometimes it was, uh, you know, just technique and other errors like that. But, you know, the biggest thing with me and, uh, you know, the leadership that I bring to the table is, uh, you know, I watch film and, you know, we, critique, we all critique ourselves and I try to help the guys come along and also myself as well. Brandon, how much responsibility you guys in O-line have to protect your quarterback, especially now that JT, you know, is facing a lot of criticism due to the game? How much you guys at the offensive line, you know, talk about this lack of, you know, 
uh, success in the quarterback? Yeah, well, that, you know, that's the biggest thing for us. You know, that's our job to protect the quarterback and, you know, uh, get runs for the running back. So, yeah, that, that, that's a big part of us. And that's kind of a thing that we're focusing on this week to try to improve on as well. Back to Jimmy Himes. Brandon, Coach Pruitt has kind of questioned the, the effort level a little bit, in particular the offense after turnovers. Do you think the effort level is where it needs to be? Uh, yes, you know, I think the effort level is where it needs to be. I feel like at times, you know, it kind of died down. But, you know, this week I took it upon myself and the other leaders of the team to make sure in practice every uh, throughout every day that we have the right energy level, make sure we're finishing, uh, finishing on blocks and things like that. And, you know, everybody around the team just making sure we have the right effort and the right attitude going into this week. Patrick Brown, then back to Vince. Brandon, you guys haven't scored in the second half of the last two games. How frustrating is that as an offense? And, and what do you guys need to do to, uh, to perform better and, and get some points on the board in the second half of games? Yeah, you know, it, yeah, it is frustrating. But, you know, as an offense, you know, that, that's what we need to do. We need to score points. So I think the, the biggest thing that we did, uh, you know, this weekend on Sunday when we evaluated the film and throughout the other, uh, other games we had is kind of see what we can do better, what we may need to change or kind of implement to be able to help us score points and, you know, help this team win. Brandon, four games in, when you see one of the assistant coaches on the team get let go, does that send any sort of message to the team at all? Uh, not, not to me personally. Um, I think, you know, upstairs, they, they handle what they have to handle. And I think me as a leader on the team, I kind of uh, handle everything that needs to be handled within the players. So, you know, I kind of, I can't focus on it. So I have to focus on, you know, what, what I can control. Uh, Trey Wallace, then back to Jimmy. Brandon, what what has been your words to the quarterbacks, Garantano, Mauer, Shroud, Harrison Bailey, about trying to be better and get better in practice where you guys can succeed on Saturdays? And kind of a follow up to that, um, you know, are, do you do you trust everybody behind Garantano to be able to lead you to victory? Well, yes, you know, the biggest thing that I've uh, taken upon myself to do is just uh, provide a lot of uplift to the quarterbacks. You know, we all trust and believe in every one of them, and, and we love them, and I've kind of let them know that throughout this whole process and uh, throughout all the games. And, and I believe in every – you know, everybody they put behind me, I believe that they can do well. And, you know, I took it upon myself that they want to watch film with me or if they have any questions about how we uh, do things, whether, whether it be protection, run game, anything like that, I'm here to help. Jimmy? Brandon, the, the team did not get off to a very good start last year, and you rebounded and had a strong finish. I'm sure you're not where you want to be at this point. How confident are you that, that you guys can get this thing turned around this year? You know, I'm very confident. You know, in life and also in sport, you always face adversity. But I think the biggest thing is, you know, how will we bounce back and how will we approach this next game and the rest of the games following throughout the season? All right, last question to Vince. Brendan, how much have you watched and paid attention to those Sunday scrimmages for the young players that miss some time and they're trying to, to get caught up? And it, if so, who has kind of impressed you and stood out in, in those settings? Yeah, so I, I have watched the scrimmages, but, you know, throughout the offensive line, I think, you know, guys like uh, Kingston Harris and um, guys like that, I think they've done a good job at kind of coming along and, you know, doing better uh, throughout the scrimmages, getting more opportunities. Anything else for Brandon? Good. All right. Thank you, Brandon. You're